Hello students. So as you all know, we have started a new chapter called as alternating current. Okay. So in the last class, I have explained some introductory part of alternating current. So today I am carrying forward. So students, in the last class only, you have understood the what is meaning of alternating current, isn't it? The name itself indicates alternating current current is nothing but what it is nothing but just a flow of charges in any conductor means when the charges flow in a conductor they constitute a current and that current you are using in your daily life that you know but which current you are using in your life there are two types of currents ac and dc alternating current direct current so that first type alternating current about that we are studying here okay so in the last class only i have told you that the word alternating indicates changing so this current which you are using is changing changing with respect to what it is changing with respect to time that i have explained in detail in the last class only so this current alternating current it changes with the time its magnitude changes with the time before that you should know about one important thing that is ac generator i have explained that in the last class we have studied about ac generator i have told you we have taken two magnets two magnets north and south pole and in between that magnetic lines are there traveling from north to south in between so in between these two magnets there is a magnetic field created isn't it so in this magnetic field what i am doing i am keeping a current carrying conductor and coil coil a coil of current carrying conductor okay so this coil we are making it to rotate this coil we are making it to rotate so when a current carrying coil or a current carrying conductor is rotating between these two magnets this current carrying conductor is rotating between these two magnets and here there is a generation of a current so you can ask how 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 in this magnetic field current is being generated you have studied faraday's laws hmm? in the faraday's laws only we have told that when magnetic flux linked with the coil changes it produces an emf so here in between these two magnets there is a magnetic field and that magnetic flux is changing with respect to this coil na because this coil is a rotating continuously with uh, by using that fleming's laws like this you are using na with respect to that we have studied the directions also so here the magnetic flux linked with this coil is keeping changing it is changing with respect to time hence this changing magnetic flux will produce an emf here and by this emf only we are getting a current which current alternating current so from where we are getting means if you take in your practical room if you take two magnets and if you start rotating a coil in between those two you will get a ac okay but how can you provide that ac to your homes because to get a ac or to get alternating current in a huge manner you have to create a huge amount of current because the usage of current is a indivisible part of our lives right now we will use current in every activities in every instruments we use current so we need large amount of current to use not only in the homes everywhere we need current so to produce that heavy amount of current we should need big magnets we should instead of this current carrying coil we should need turbines there so to rotate the turbines we should we should apply mechanical work there and that mechanical work to rotate the turbine is not possible with respect to the human beings any one human cannot stand there and turn the turbines to produce the ac that's why we'll go through the power plants we'll go through power plants means we have nuclear power plants we have thermal power plants we have hydro power plants like that those power plants only are giving the current to us 
Okay, so in with uh, when you think of nuclear power plants by using nuclear energy by using nuclear energy that water is condensed that water is condensed to the steam and now here the turbines are rotating and hence we are getting the AC so when you think of the thermal power plants by heating the effect of heating is there by using that thermal energy water is being condensed to steam and the turbines are rotating and in the hydro power plants also by using the power of water the turbines are rotating and there is a production of AC current so in any power plant you consider there will be the product the output is nothing but alternate current and the same is being supplied to your homes the light you are using the mobiles computers whatever you are using they are on the basis of alternating current in your home you have so many utensils in which you are using the currents you are using refrigerator you are using iron box so in those two means those two instruments only you imagine and those two instruments will be having a stabilizer Means in your iron box also you will be having one, one knob, na? one small knob you will be having. Means if the clothes are very much crushed, you will keep the height at a, you will keep the heat at a maximum value. If they are less, means if they are like terracotta, you will keep the small, you will keep the knob at the smaller volume of heat. Means you are regulating. That knob is regulating the amount of heat in that instrument. And also regulator you are using in the fridge. That is also regulating the temperature of that instruments. Why they are being used? Because so from the TC, you will be having TC at your place outside. From that, some amount of current will be flowing through your homes. So in every instrument, there will be certain amount of uh, current is required. So for the fridge, let you consider some amount of heat is, some amount of current is required. Means if the knob is on if the switch is on current is being passed in that fridge okay so by using that current their cooling effect is taking place in the fridge okay so when that fridge is using that current there will be some sound there will be some sound you, you observe in your homes okay so after particular time that sound will stop so after next some movements there will be no sound Again, after some time, there will be again sound. So, what is that effect indicates? Hmm? Have you ever think of that? So, when current is being supplied to that fridge, it is using that current and cooling it. Okay. So, while cooling in that instrument, the temperature retains some amount. Temperature approaches at some amount. Means, let, let you consider uh, if you are keeping at very low value. So, uh, all the materials in the fridge need to be kept at 10 degrees Celsius you consider temperature okay so it will come to 10 degrees Celsius by using the current from 0 to it will be uh, from high temperature from 25 to 30 to it becomes 10 by using that uh, current okay so when it reaches 10 again it should not go below it should not go below means again if it is starting using the current continuously from 10 to it decrease to 9 8 which we don't want we want the current to stay at 10 degree celsius only so at that point when the 10 degree celsius temperature is reached the current supply should be off hmm? continuously if you are giving the current to it it will again decrease na? from 10 to it it decreases below that's why when it reaches 10 degree celsius the the supply of current will be stopped so that sound is stop, stopped okay so there is no current now in the instrument okay now again when there is no current when there is no current there will be no cooling there will be no cooling so again temperature becomes normal means room temperature 10 to again it starts increasing 10 15 20 25 like that whatever the room temperature is there outside the same temperature will be there in the fridge also in the refrigerator also okay so again when it becomes normal temperature again it need to decrease it again the cooling should be started so to start the cooling again it will use the current again sound starts understood the concept current is flowing the cooling is start cooling is happening so when the cooling reaches a maximum value the supply of current will be off so when again it 
the when the cooling is no when there is no cooling again temperature becomes normal means current supply cooling maximum value again becoming normal temperature again current supply again cooling like that the procedure is happening with respect to that only you are getting sound and sometimes there is no sound this is the effect same happens in the iron box also okay when iron box you are using it again some maximum temperature means heating is there now by using the current they are they are giving us heating effect in the refrigerator you are taking cooling effect in the iron box you are taking heating effect so with by using that sup, uh, uh, supply of current the iron box got heated heated to maximum temperature because more than maximum if it goes it will it will burn the things uh, that's why it should stop at maximum temperature when it stop at maximum temperature it stops using current okay so when it stops using current it again starts cooling cooling takes place again so again when there is no heating when it becomes very much cool again it starts using current and again it becomes heated like that they are using the current by themselves because they have taken their knobs or uh, regulators they are using like that every instrument in your home is using based on the current and whatever the current you are using in your homes or the domestic uh, uses is nothing but a alternating current because direct current is not used in any uh, domestic uses you are using alternating current only so whatever the current you are using is coming from the power plants and how that current is being generated is like this AC generator. Okay, so you have now understood what, are, what exactly is this alternating current. I have also told you about the definition of alternating current. So it is nothing but a current only means there will be the flow of charges only. Okay, so when the flow of charge is taking place or when the current is flowing that current flows that current flows in a particular manner how means that current alternating current is changing continuously changing the magnitude of alternating current is continuously changing with respect to time so the definition of alternating current can be framed as an electric current whose magnitude changes with time. How can we define alternating current? An electric current whose magnitude changes sinusoidally with time. Okay, so whenever you observe that current, means by using any instrument like oscilloscope and all, when you observe that current, the nature of that current will be like this means sine or cosine wave like this i have told you in the last class i have shown you the graphical representation so this is the sine wave means here it maintains periodicity also periodicity means what in the simple harmonic motion you, you may have studied na? means when that pendulum is taking its movement like this so when it is at equilibrium it goes to mean position again equilibrium goes to mean or extreme position again goes to mean position like this you have studied now so it is at zero at some peak again zero again in the negative direction peak and again comes here at the at the horizontal line and it completes one cycle means this is again so it won't stop here again it continues like this so that is called as a periodicity and there is a polarity also polarity means we have two poles positive poles negative poles so from the zero it goes to a positive peak positive pole and again it comes to the negative pole again it continues means periodicity positive and negative means polarity so alternating current behaves two properties polarity it maintains polarity it maintains periodicity likewise again we can extend the definition as a, this is an electric current whose magnitude changes with time and polarity reverses periodically understood polarity reverses periodically 
Yes or no? Pole is there, na? Not only single pole, it reverses also and it continues periodically. So, how can we frame the definition? Alternating current is an electric current whose magnitude changes with time and polarity reverses periodically. Understood? So, this is about alternating current. And when you observe that alternating current, you will get the waveforms like this. Means when you observe it through the oscilloscope, it will give a sine or cosine wave. Or sometimes you can also think it about a square waves like this. Or you can consider sawtooth waves like this. Or triangular waves like this. So every waveform, any waveform you consider, it should there should be polarity and there should be periodicity. Okay, so this is the nature of alternating current that its magnitude changes with time and polarity reverses periodically. Okay, so when you think of current, you will think of two parameters over there. Huh? In, the, in the current electricity only you, you have explained there that current will possess two properties that is voltage and current means V and I are the two topmost they are the two topmost two topmost important parameters when you are studying about current are current and voltage okay so with respect to this alternating current you will be having alternating current and alternating voltage so alternating current i and alternating voltage v so these two alternating ac current and ac voltage can be represented like this i not sin omega t v naught sin omega t in the last class i have derived these two equations also they are not for your syllabus but i have just told you you should remember these two equations i is equal to i naught sin omega t v is equal to v naught sin omega t what are, what is this i what is this i naught what is t omega all these things we'll study it later on okay so so these are the important things which we have studied in the last class introductory part okay so we have also studied about some advantage and disadvantages of the ac also okay now so here today i am continuing with the some important parameters related to ac hmm? so when you are studying about shm simple harmonic motion you will be studying period of shm frequency of shm time period of SHM, amplitude, like that, the some parameters we have studied. So here, with respect to alternating current also, I have some important parameters. So if you understand these parameters perfectly, whatever the things coming on in the next class, you will understand them very easily. That's why it's essential to study that first. So some important parameters. related to alternating current so in them the first one I, I told you how will be the nature of alternating current that is a wave which wave sine or cosine wave so from here 0 to t it will complete one oscillation so here you can consider v or i alternating voltage or alternating current with respect to time because the current is changing with respect to time that we have studied in the definition only so here you consider one wave to refer all the definitions i'll refer this diagram so the first one is period of ac t capital t period of ac so what is period of ac means the time taken to come the time taken by ac voltage or ac current to complete one full cycle so this is one cycle now. when you think of shm there will be you, are, you will be saying oscillation one full oscillation but here we are taking one cycle one full cycle so this is up to here this is half cycle 
Huh? So this is full cycle. Huh? So the time taken by AC voltage or AC current to complete one full cycle is nothing but period of AC and that is represented by T. Okay, this is easier. You know it already. Second is frequency of AC. That is small f. Hmm? Frequency means the number of cycles, the number of cycles done by AC voltage or AC uh, current in one second time, in one t or one second time. So this is what frequency of AC. The number of cycles, the number of cycles done in one second is f frequency then the time taken to complete one full cycle is a period or time period and the number of cycles happened in one second is a frequency and the relation between them will be f is equal to 1 by t or t is equal to 1 by f means the time period and frequency are inversely proportional to each other always okay now Going on to the next parameter, instantaneous voltage, instantaneous voltage or current. The next parameter is what? Instantaneous voltage or current. Instantaneous voltage or instantaneous current of AC. Okay, so whenever this wave or sine wave of AC is moving. So every at every part we are having some movements. So here this is one, one moment, this is one moment, this is one instant. Like that we have instants over there. Means you can also say parts. Parts means uh, uh, when they, uh, in one hour there are 60 minutes. Na? So after 20 minutes there is one instant. After 30 minutes, there is one instance. Means any full part we can divide with respect to some instance or with respect to some moments you can say. Okay. So at any instant, at any given instant, whatever will be the value of voltage or value of current that we can point them as instantaneous voltage or instantaneous current. Means if you are taking this as one instant, small a is one instant for you which you are taking okay so for a given instant whatever the value of uh, current or voltage is there that is called as instantaneous current so here if you consider va and ia so va is an instantaneous voltage at a given instant a ia is an instantaneous current at a given instant a like that so the value of voltage of ac or current of ac at any given instant is called as instantaneous voltage or instantaneous current means the value of instantaneous voltage at any given instant is called sorry the value of voltage of ac at any given instant is called instantaneous voltage the value of current of ac at any given instant is called as instantaneous current okay we have already know about the uh, equations v is equal to v naught sine omega t and i is equal to i naught sine omega t so in these two equations this v and i are called as instantaneous current and instantaneous voltage understood so the current at any given instant the voltage at any given instant okay so the next part next point is peak value of ac so this is instantaneous value of ac this is a peak value of ac okay so this is the value of alternating current or alternating voltage at maximum level at maximum level or the peaks so this is so when you consider this half cycle this will be the peak na this will be the peak and here this will be the peak 
हाँ सो द वैल्यू ऑफ अल्टरनेटिंग करेंट और अल्टरनेटिंग वोल्टेज एट आइदर हाफ साइकल्स द वैल्यू ऑफ द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ अल्टरनेटिंग करेंट और वोल्टेज एट आइदर हाफ साइकल्स सो हियर ऑल्सो यू कैन से V is peak value. Here V is peak value, or I is peak value. I is peak value, like that. Okay. So in this equations, this V not and I not represents the peak values of current and voltage respectively. V not is a peak value of voltage of AC. Hmm? Maximum value of alternating voltage. at the at both the half cycles the maximum value of alternating voltage at both the half cycles the maximum value of alternating current at both the half cycles v not and i not understood so this is instantaneous values of ac these are peak values of ac okay so next the important two important definitions and more and little bit tough to understand mean value mean value of ac or also you can say average value of ac or also you can say amplitude of ac okay so here to understand about the mean value i am considering two currents one alternating current and another is a steady current i am considering okay so so here you consider this the same same diagram you consider okay so in any given circuit in any one circuit a steady current is produce is producing some charges steady current in the, so in this circuit only you consider steady current is producing some charges in a given interval of time t hmm the steady current is producing some amount of charges in the given interval of time t at the same time our alternating current also producing the same amount of charges in the same circuit but the time taken by this alternating current is half of the time taken by this steady current understanding what i am uh, i am doing here one circuit i am considering in this circuit the steady current is giving some charges means some charges are flowing because of this steady current means current is nothing but flow of charges so this steady current is producing some charges in this given circuit in a given interval of time t okay so alternating current also producing the same amount of charges in the same circuit in a time half of taken by this steady current understood so it can the mean value of ac can be defined as the steady current which produces the steady current which produces the same charges in the given circuit in the time interval t as that produced by the alternating current in the same circuit in the time in the half time it is little bit confusing one listen carefully what i am doing i am considering one circuit in that circuit charges are being produced by the steady current whatever the number of charges are being produced are the same as the alternating current means this steady current is producing some amount of charges in this circuit with respect to certain time in certain time t okay same this alternating current also producing some charges in this given circuit with respect to the time t by 2 you consider means the time taken by steady current is t and the time taken by alternating current is t by 2 means the number of charges produced the circuit is same but the time is different steady current is taking the t time alternating current is taking t by 2 time that's it okay so how can we define mean value of ac means the mean value of ac can be defined as that steady current which produces same amount of charges in the given circuit in a certain time interval t as that produced by the alternating current in the same circuit 
in the time in the half of the time in the half of the time one once again i will explain the mean value of ac can be defined as that steady current which produces some amount of charges in the given circuit in a certain time interval t as produced by the alternating current in the same circuit in a half of the time understood so this mean value of ac can be represented as im or vm means mean value of ac current mean value of ac voltage so we we can write them as 2 by pi i not and 2 by pi v not means the mean mean voltage of ac is 2 by pi times of the peak voltage yes or no the mean voltage of ac is 2 by pi times of the peak voltage and the mean current the mean value of the current is 2 by pi times of the peak value of the current means mean value is 2 by pi times of the peak value with respect to both voltage and current so this is you have to understand this is little bit confusing you you listen it carefully two, two to three times you listen you will get understand the, the one circuit i am considering in that circuit charges are being produced the same number of charges are being produced by the steady current also and ac current also and the time taken is different here the steady current is taking t time and alternating current is taking t by 2 time so i can define it as the mean value of ac can be defined as that steady current which produces the same amount of charges in the given interval t as produced by the alternating current in half of the time understood so this is about mean value of the ac and the next next parameter we are studying over here is rms value rms value have you heard anyway this name rms value rms value is nothing but root mean square value or also you can you can call it as effective value of ac rms value or you can say effective value of ac okay so this is also little bit confusing to understand listen to me carefully so rms value is defined as the it defined as that steady current which produces some amount of heat in a conductor hmm, as it is produced by alternating current in a full cycle t means there in the mean value of ac what we have done we have considered steady current is taking t time and alternating current is taking t by 2 time to produce the charges in one given circuit here we are considering one conductor here in the rms value we are considering one conductor and in that conductor we are producing heat let consider this is one current carrying conductor in this we are using steady current also and ac also okay so the amount of heat produced in this steady current in time is in time t and the same amount of heat is produced in this conductor in time t means here the process is taking place in full cycle that waveform you have seen a full cycle it is taking to produce the same amount of heat like this so whatever the heat this steady current is producing to produce that current ac is taking one full cycle time understood so rms value of ac can be defined as that steady current which produces the same amount of heat in a conductor in a certain interval of time as produced by the ac in the full cycle there we have taken half cycle in the mean value here we are considering full cycle okay so rms value or the effective value of ac can be defined as that steady current which produces the same amount of heat 
in a conductor in a certain time interval t as that produced by ac in the time full cycle in the time of full cycle understood okay so the values of rms current and rms voltage can be represented like this i rms and v rms so you can write 1 by root 2 of im and 1 by root 2 times of vm so the rms current is 1 by root 2 times of mean current mean value of current the rms voltage is 1 by root 2 times of the mean value of voltage understood the mean value of ac and rms value of ac are very important and at the same time they are little bit difficult also to understand you listen it carefully you will understand okay okay now the last thing the last parameter which explains about ac is now what is the number don't worry phase phase this is the last one and very important also. Okay. So, phase. The word phase, dictionary meaning is what? Part. Part. In, in clock, you consider. Watch, watch will be there. Na? In that, you will be having 12 equal parts. Yes or no? Means 12 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3. Equal uh, parts you are having. Na? So, you can take them as phase also. 12 to 1, we have one phase. 1 to 2, we have one phase. 2 to 3, we have one phase. Like that. So, how can we define phase? Means, phase is one rotating vector. Phase is one rotating vector which represents a quantity which is changing with time. So, here also in AC, we are considering that AC current is changing with time. So, phase will represent the quantity which will change with respect to time. Okay. So, uh, now you consider uh, alternating voltage. Alternating voltage. That is what V you consider. Okay. That equation is what V is equal to V naught sin omega t. So, phase is a rotating vector which represents the quantities changing with time. So, this V alternating voltage is also changing with time now. Here you are having instantaneous voltage, peak voltage. And this omega is angular frequency. Omega is what? Angular frequency which we can represent it like 2 pi f. The value of omega is 2 pi f. Or also, you know the relation between f and t. Huh? f is equal to 1 by t. So also you can represent omega as 2 pi divided by t. Means omega is angular frequency which you can represent by these two expressions. Okay. So, and t is time period unit. Okay. So, this equation, if you want to represent in a phase, with respect to a phase, how we can represent C. Hmm. So, this is x-axis, y-axis. Here we are having voltage. Here we are having time. Okay. So, this is V naught sin omega t. So, this is the this this line what are we having now that will give us the length of voltage means when it starts from here it starts from here means this is zero it's o oh, this is this starts from zero it comes here first means this is the distance covered it comes here this is the distance covered it comes here this much distance it covers it comes here 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 like that it will be rotating na this vector will be rotating. So, this, this length, whatever we are having, na, that is length. Length of the voltage, let's consider it as V. And whatever the distance you are going on covering, na, that is the angle. Omega T. Understood? So, the phase of this voltage can be represented like this. Phase is a rotating vector which represents any quantity which is changing with the time. Phase will represent any quantity which is changing with respect to time. So, here also alternating voltage by its nature, it changes with respect to time. So, we can represent it like this. This line will represent length of the voltage and this will represent the distance covered. 
or whatever the change is taking place with respect to time that is represented okay this is what basic basic thing about the phase now you come to the knowledge of phase with respect to alternating current hmm? so how we can represent the phase of phase of ac phase of ac okay so in the introductory part also part only i have told you the ac the nature of ac is nothing but a sine or a cosine wave okay i'll consider this now hmm? so how will it will be it will be like this okay sine or cosine wave it starts from zero it reaches one maximum point call it as a a okay again it comes here b so again it go coming like this one more peak value c again it comes here d one full cycle completed okay so here uh, what is the equation the equation you consider v is equal to v not sin omega t okay now the full the time taken to complete full cycle one full cycle is what t capital t okay so here it is t here it is zero we are having four equal parts na huh? means total one rupee you are having one rupee from here to here you have one rupee 25 paisa 50 paisa 75 paisa one rupee yes so so from here to here t by 4 okay here t by 2 here 3 t by 4 t hmm? so 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent 100 t by 4 t by 2 3 t by 4 whole t yes so whatever means any you can consider anything here voltage or current so the voltage starts changing with time like it goes first 0 to t by 4 first peak point again it comes to t by 2 3 t by 4 t so this is what the time taken means this is the phase you can call it this is one phase this is one phase this is one phase and this is one phase. This is the phasor representation of alternating voltage. Hmm. Okay. Now, with respect to this equation, now, when time t is 0, when time t is 0, here we are having 0, sin 0. Hmm. Okay. We not sin omega t. So, it becomes zero so here we are having zero so when time t is t by 4 you consider what happens to the v now hmm? v is equal to v naught sine omega t we are having so at the place of t we have t by 4 and what is value of omega i have written it now 2 pi f but here we don't have any f here so omega is equal to 2 pi by t understood so v is equal to v naught sine i'll write it here v is equal to v naught sine omega is what 2 pi by t and t by 4. So what it becomes? T t get cancels. 2 and the 2 2. That becomes pi by 2. So v is equal to v naught sine pi by 2. Means sine 90. Sine 90 is 1. V is equal to v naught. Here v is was 0 v naught correct na? at here you will be having peak value v naught so again same thing when it is t by 2 so it is t by 4 when it is t by 2 what happens here if it is t by 2 2 2 get cancels 
T get cancels only sine pi, sine 180. So again it is value changes. So what is my intention is, so when as you have represented the time, you can also represent the radians also. So it, here it was 0, here it was pi by 2, the radian. The radian was pi by 2. So if it is pi by 2, so when you when you keep the here, means when you keep here V is equal to V naught sine omega t. V naught sine 2 pi by t and t by 2. 2 to get cancels t t sine pi 180 V naught. Okay. So here we will be having No, sin, sin v, v naught, sin, t, t get cancelled, sin 180 is maybe minus 1, so it, no, sin 180 is 0, sin 180 is 0, so again here it is 0, hmm? 0, again so it, if you come here, what happens, 2 pi by t into 3 t by 4, t t get cancelled, 2 ones are 2 twos are pi 3 by 2 3 pi by 2 sin 3 pi by 2 so again it is sin 3 pi by 2 means 270 so again it is 1 so here again you will get v naught it is minus 1 minus v naught you will get here again you will get 0 means as the time is changing t by 4 t by 2 3 t by 4 t the radian also changing pi by 2 here it is pi pi by 2, pi. Huh? Here, 3 pi by 2. Here, 2 pi. Like that. Understood? The, with respect to time, if you are going in the phase, t by 4, t by 2, 3 t by 4, t. pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2, 2 pi. Means radian also. And when you get the values, after substituting the value of t, you will get the values 0, v naught, 0, minus v naught 0 like that understood so this is how we can study the things related to phase of ac understood so this is about phase of ac okay so next we have to think about one more important point that is phase difference Okay, I will clear the things now only because when you start studying the further things like current voltage relation with respect to resistor, capacitor, inductor, there you have to study, there you have to imagine the things by your own. If you, you, if you can do that, then only you can understand the concept. That's why I am clearing the things now only. Now you may feel difficult, but if you understand them now, the next path will be easier for you. Okay, so... So, uh, till now we have studied up to phase of the AC. In the next class, I will study about phase difference. Phase difference we will study. After that, we will continue with the next, uh, next things. Okay. Thank you. Take care.